Uh, uh, hey, what's that noise? How long have you been sleeping? You try to move your neck. It's a little bit stiff. You've had a good nap, but fell asleep in an uncomfortable position. In the movie theater. Oh, now you remember. The movie was really boring. You were tired after a long day at work, so you couldn't help it. You look around. Everyone's out. You're alone. Everything is clean, with no popcorn or soda cans on the floor. Weird. The credits are rolling down the screen, so it's time to go. It might be pretty late, and you don't want to miss your bus. You get up, stretch, and slowly go to the door. You enter the hallway. No one is there. You're confused. Usually when you stay at the movie theater so late, someone walks you out and reminds you they're closing. And there's always a mess left by people who have been walking around all day, eating snacks and dropping popcorn to the floor. But now, everything is clean and peaceful. As if the movie theater isn't open at all. You check the bathrooms. No one's there. The lights are dimmed, but you can see where you're going. And still, ugh, everything looks kind of creepy with no one around. Hello? You try calling for people a couple of times. No answer. You follow the exit sign and get to the closed door. Temporarily closed because of renovation. Huh? How long is that temporarily? You start panicking and then suddenly get angry. How could the staff forget to wake you up? You start yelling, trying to open the door, but nothing works. You check your phone. Of course, it's off. You forgot to charge it. Then you suddenly hear some noise coming from one of the halls. You start shivering. Is it possible that someone else is trapped here too? You slowly move toward the hall and cautiously open the door. But it's just the beginning of another movie. This hall is empty too. Trying to distract yourself, you get popcorn, candies, soda, and even some ice. Finally, you're on time to get the best seat. Oh boy, that was epic! You were still sitting and laughing at some of those jokes you heard, when suddenly, a new movie starts. Great! Why not see that one too? Workers will probably get here in the morning anyway. Your friends are going to be so jealous when they find out you've spent a night in the movie theater for free. Two more movies later, and you realize you have no idea what time it is. But you feel very tired. Tomorrow's a new day. It'll get better. Grr, still no news. Nobody's come. The noise coming from your stomach is getting louder, so you go and grab some new snacks. Time for some more movies. The marathon that you've always wanted to take part in. You hit the first hall. A comedy is on. You realize each hall shows its own movie genre. And when a movie finishes, a new one immediately starts. At one point, the screen always goes white. It's your cue that it's time to go to sleep. Days pass by with you waiting for workers every morning and watching new movies every day. There's some old movies too, in different languages and from different countries. Your daily routine is always the same. You get up and have breakfast. You found a large stock of sandwiches in the fridge. After watching several movies, you walk around and explore the place. Then lunch, some more movies, dinner, and it's already bedtime. You feel completely hypnotized by all the movies you watch. Some make you laugh so hard you can't fall asleep afterwards because you keep thinking about their plots. Others bring tears to your eyes. Some make you think. And there are movies that scare you so much that instead of falling asleep, you get up every five minutes to check every suspicious noise you hear. Your life doesn't change. No one comes. Every day is the same. At first, you still try to count how many days you're trapped at the movie theater. But after a while, you lose track of time. Your eyes have become red from staring at the screen for hours on end. You sometimes feel terrified when looking at yourself in the bathroom mirror. Your skin has gone pale. You've gained some extra weight. And your shoulders have become rounded from sitting and sleeping in an uncomfortable position. From time to time, you try to work out and add some healthy habits to your life. But most of the time, you feel as if you're the main character of some weird movie. The one where you can't figure out what's real and what's not. You keep seeing things out of the corner of your eye. But when you turn around, there's nothing. 
you decide not to watch scary movies anymore. And then, you accidentally find yourself in a seat, waiting for the next movie to start. And before you know it, the movie has you hooked. And you can't stop watching even though you know you won't be able to sleep at night. You start feeling increasingly lonely. Movie characters become your only friends. You constantly talk to them in your head, or even out loud. The silence after you stop is horrible. And the dark corners of the movie theater seem even scarier at such moments. Your stomach hurts. You're sick and tired of snacks, candies, sandwiches, and popcorn. Unbelievable, but the only thing you're craving is a bowl of warm soup. You don't enjoy movies anymore. Nothing seems funny, sad, or even scary. That's it! You're here! The greatest entertainment ever! Full D Cinema! You step into a dark hall with a big round screen, put on a headset, and feel like millions of sensors connect to your brain's neurons. Three, two, one, and you become the main character of an incredible movie. It's nighttime. You're in your bed, snuggling in your covers from the crisp coolness. You hear creepy noises, as if something's scratching walls from inside. You get out of bed and feel growing tension in the air. You head to the light switch, turn around, and notice a dark figure behind you, right beside your bed. Its features are hidden by the shadow, but it's staring at you. You realize it's a horror movie and turn on the lights. The shape disappears. You turn the light off again, but the phantom isn't there. You hear a low, hoarse howl. Upside down, right on the ceiling, there's an old woman standing on all fours. She screeches and jumps at you. Heart racing, you rush out of the room and shut the door right in her face. You're lucky it's just a movie. Otherwise, you'd have had nightmares after this. You're in the kitchen now. Out the window, first rays of the rising sun are showing. Some kind of motivational music is playing but you can't understand where it's coming from. A blender, two eggs, and a carton of milk are on the table. You make a protein shake and notice that you're already wearing a tracksuit. You go outside, the music gets louder, and you start running. Buildings and streets flash past you in seconds. You feel uplifted and realize you're in a sports movie now. You're in great physical shape and ready for achievements, but your mood vanishes the moment a building next to you explodes. You're thrown aside, but stay perfectly unharmed, just like an action movie hero should. There are more explosions nearby, and you start running to survive. An SUV with tinted windows appears from around the corner. You slide over its hood and get on a parked sports motorbike. It seems to have been waiting just for you, ready to go. You're driving away from the chase. Behind you, the asphalt's cracking. Cars are thrown aside like toys. Windows are smashing. Ahead, you see a huge truck with a wooden springboard pressed against its back. You pull the throttle to the max, the bike revs, and you're in the air already. And timely, too. A huge explosion is right behind you. You smash through a window of the nearest building and jump off the bike. You're in a gray room with old furniture. The window you crash through is already intact and raindrops are pounding on its pane. You feel exhausted and confused. You walk from side to side, looking at the street below. Suddenly, you feel a creative impulse. At this point, you notice a desk with a typewriter in the corner. You sit down and start typing like crazy. Words and sentences pour out of you onto a blank sheet of paper. You're sure that you're writing a masterpiece. In reality, the text is complete gibberish, but not for you. The tension is so hard that you start crying. Hours pass in seconds, night and day replace each other, and there's a stack of written pages on your desk. You grab the manuscript and see the editor reading it. A tear runs down her cheek, and she says you've written something unbelievable. But at what cost, you say? This book took everything from me. You have no idea what exactly it took from you, but you feel it because you're in a drama. You leave the editor's office and find yourself in the street, right in the middle of a traffic jam. A man pokes his head out of a car window and says, Hey stranger, what a day! A cycler passes by, shouting on the go, Please don't stop and say hooray! 
you find yourself answering, I don't know what you mean, but it's awesome and I'm in. It turns out that you have a beautiful voice. People around you get out of their cars and sing along with you. A crow sitting on a lamppost and pigeons walking by also join in on the song. Everyone around is dancing like they rehearsed it, and a fire truck splashes water on the crowd. The song gets louder and louder. You want to, you want to live forever here in the musical comedy. Wow, <laughs> that was awesome. You walk into a dark alley, and everything around you fades to shades of black and white. You're wearing a hat from the 1950s. You hear the wail of police sirens, someone screams, the sound of glass breaking apart. This city, mired in greed and deception. It seems that you just said this out loud. Cool. Think you can guess all the movies by emojis? Alright, here we go. Hmm. An easy start. It's Spider-Man. Or maybe Little Miss Muffet. The Karate Kid. Plain and simple. Hey, wax on, wax off. Look out, it's Jaws. I'll bet you're singing the theme song in your head right now. Who you gonna call? Ghostbusters. Jurassic Park, one of my favorites. It's the boy who lived, Harry Potter. The Wizard of Oz. Of course, it's Thor. Man, if I hit my thumb with a hammer, I'd be Thor too. The Boss Baby. Bingo! Hey, any way you slice it, it's Edward Scissorhands. That's all you need to guess. Titanic. Love that one. That's Men in Black. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Classic. Now, it's okay if you guess Willy Wonka and the you-know-what. For me, that's the better movie. That's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Did you recognize Forrest Gump? That one's Marley and Me. Monsters, Inc. That's right. Brave. Such a good movie. The most famous scene in E.T. Another great movie. It's Moana. You're welcome.
It's the Devil Wears Prada. Did you see Joker? <laughs> Shh, it's the silence of the lambs. What's for dinner? <laughs> Madagascar, right O. Hey, it's Coco. What else can it be? It's Ratatouille. Anyone can cook. Ah, they're getting tougher. That's Mary Poppins. Hey, let's go fly a kite. Now this one stumped me. It's Money Ball. I hope you got this one. It's fantastic beasts and where to find them. Great Scott! It's back to the future! Surely you recognize Twilight. Million Dollar Baby Ah, straight to the point! It's Planet of the Apes! That's emoji speak for Home Alone. And this one's Finding Nemo. Think literal for this one. It's a beautiful mind. I know, the flag instantly gave it away. Yep, it's Pirates of the Caribbean. Dumplings. Kung Fu Panda is right. Now, who hasn't seen the notebook? Besides me. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.